Welcome to Deep Learning course. Last time we saw that uh, neural networks can be used as a mathematical tool, as a machine learning algorithm, uh, to categorize the content of images. For example, is this image a pedestrian or a car or a motorcycle? And we saw that um, we can do this by creating, by using a neural network. This neural network is an ensemble of artificial neurons uh, connected in, in layers and that the output uh, layer of these uh, neurons is uh, one not encoded um, of the categories of the image of the input image. So for example if we put an input as a pedestrian then this will be one and the other will be zero and so forth. We also saw that uh, for each at each layer of this neural network um, what we need to do to, to, to compute an output is to multiply the matrix of weight by the input. So we are ready to really use it, to use the neural network. The only problem is we need to figure out what, are, what is the right set of weights um, that needs to be used. So in this course, we are in, in, uh, in this class and video, we are trying to understand how do we compute this weight. So how do we effectively train a neural network? How do we take this the network that we've shown and learn all this weight effectively so that it gives us the best results? This is not obvious because there might be many thousands of, of parameter. So as you can imagine, it's extremely hard for a person to come up with all of them and not really a good idea. Uh, instead, what we need is um, we need to take a data-driven approach, like we said take a lot of uh, input examples of, uh, of what we want to do, labeled examples, and try to figure out, you know, once we give an input and we know the correct output and we know what the network output is, and try to compute an error and figure, and, and based on this error, modify the parameters. Um, like, like we said, in, the, in um, the context of supervised classification of images, like uh, for example, if we want to identify an image into different things, but also for other tasks, what we need to find out is we're going to have a function of this weight, um, and so we sum all of the right labels minus the output labels that the neural network gives, and we want to try to minimize this function so that you know effectively it's practic is almost zero or zero. And when this value will be zero, I mean that neural network will be perfect, which you know might be hard because there's always ambiguity in an image. Um, but we want to make it as close as possible to zero. So how do we do this? We can do this with the back propagation algorithm. And this is the algorithm that uh, was invented by Hinton and Yan de Kuhn, several others. Um, in the late 80s and early 90s and has been perfected slowly. But really is at the foundation of uh, is the way that we can use to, to train neural network. So in order to, to, to think about the neural network training, um, I want to exemplify a little bit and make you think about uh, how this training is going to be done. So imagine neural network training can be thought of as this problem. Assume you are placed at random in one of the mountains on one of the location of this um, of these pictures, maybe you know close to one of the mountains. And all you can do is measure local slope slope. So local slope means I'm looking at the terrain around me, like I'm a couple of meters around, and I want to calculate uh, the slope, you know, of this patch of land. And your aim is to arrive at the lowest point in, uh, in this image as quickly, lowest land point, let's say, not necessarily see as low as, as, as possible. Okay, so, well, we, we, we know that if we are, we can represent this, um, um, this image, this, uh, this map, as, uh, as a potential map of heights, and we can compute the gradients are. So all you can do is really to measure the local slope, and based on the slope, you know how to go down, down the slope. 
I want to offer a different, different way of also thinking about neural network training. Is uh, um, imagine you're trying to shoot a basketball into into basket, right? Uh, the certain doesn't matter, the certain distance and so forth, right? So what we usually do, you know, even as humans, is we we will shoot at a certain angle. So, for example, we will shoot with this uh, low, lower angle and we'll probably miss because it'll end up lower than the basket. Um, and, uh, and then we'll know that, well, we probably don't know exactly what the desire, you know, what the actual output effect, you know, the true, the true output should, should have been. But we have, we have an idea of what it could be. And we can measure an error based on what happened, right? So if we undershoot, so we, we know we went under, so we know we probably need to correct this angle. And by giving a small correction, um, let's let's think of this correction as um, an angle that is the, uh, different from the error. It's, it's proportional to the error. So if the if the error is big, then we need to modify our angle by a lot. If the error is small, then we don't need to modify it by too much. Um, and then we use the constant um, that uh, decides how much this correction will be. So, you know, this might be um, our ability, this, this constant might be ref our ability to, to hit the basket all the time or not, how, how, how much we are trained or so forth, or how much of a correction we want to do, right? And notice there's a minus sign because we always want to correct, we always want to make um, a change uh, in the opposite direction. So if we undershoot, it means that we need to pu push up in a positive change. If we went negative, we need a positive change in, in the angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new trial now. Now we'll modify our, our angle, which is, you know, you could think of it as a weight. And, uh, and then we'll repeat this until the error is more or less zero and, uh, and our ball is hitting the, the basket. So this is, you know, more or less what we are trying to do in uh, mathematically with this neural network. We are trying to change slowly the weights so that, that they can categorize an image, right? Uh, and so we can think of uh, the neural, ne neural network weights um, as um, creating some set of functions. So um, if W is the weights, you know what you saw as phi before also, um, we generate a cost function that is basically the sum of, you know, all, all, these, all these weights. And what we want to do is to try to minimize the error. The error that we want to minimize is similar to what I showed you before, is uh, the right label that we say it's called Y minus um, the matrix of current weights and multiply by the input, you know, so basically the output of the neural network. And we want to have a measure of this, this is like a distance, we want to have a measure of how much, how, how far are we from the right, from, from the true label. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, calculate this error and then change the weights multiplying by eta and the derivative of this error. So we, we go the opposite way of the derivative, similar to what we just explained um, in, in, um, in the previous map um, example, right? And um, a way to do this that you'll see is, um, this is a, sim a, a same representation of the, the, this cost function. Um, it, here it's called j of phi and where phi is the weight. And so what we want to do is we want to go to some high point where the weights are not correct. We want to slowly move down, you know, by updating these weights to a local, you know, a, hopefully a global minima, um, where basically the output of the neural network is very similar to uh, the label that we want. So we will discuss in class the details about the web propagation that there's lots of uh, reading material out there and will suggest a list for you to read.